Hello students, welcome to English lecture. Today we will discuss the remaining part of the poem, The Cherry Tree. We have seen that the poet, when he was a child, he wanted to grow his own cherry tree and that's why he sowed the seeds in the soil. The tree came out with a struggle. After so many days, it came out, though it faced many difficulties like goats were eating the leaves, then there was grass cutter who cut the grass and there was monsoon damage because, because in the monsoon, you know, there are some diseases of the plants and that damage was also there. So, the tree faced all these difficulties, but yet it had a willpower to be alive, to sustain. And that is why it came out and it was growing. And it gave the message that yes, we must have a willpower to sustain, to be alive. Now, we will discuss the remaining part of this poem. So tree was thrusting itself upward. It was looking at the sun. It was looking at the fresh air. It was looking at the sky because it wanted to grow. For light and air and sun. So the tree was looking for light and air and sun. So these three things, they give life to the trees, you know, light air and sun. I could only wait as one. So he was waiting that when this tree will grow and it when it will come become a big tree. Who watched wandering while time and the rain. So the poet was watching the tree growing and he was want, he was wandering while time and the rain. So it takes some time, you know, to grow the tree. And the rain, it needs rain. Made a miracle from green growing pay. So, <coughs> because of time and because of rain, there was a miracle. There was a magic from green growing pain you know to grow we must suffer we go under some pains we experience some pains growing is not that much easy it gives you some struggle it gives you some trouble also so you have to struggle and that's why he says green growing pain. So that tree also struggled a lot. It faced many difficulties. But yet because of time and because of rain it was growing. And the poet was watching this miracle of nature. I went away next year, spent a season in Kashmir. So the poet travelled to Kashmir and he spent a season in Kashmir. Came back thinner, rather poor. But because of that journey, he became thin and he became very weak. Poor means here weak. But richer by a cherry tree at my door. But there was a cherry tree fully grown at the door of his home and he thought that as if he was a rich person because he had his own tree. His health was not so good, it was poor. But he felt that as if he was very rich because he had his own growing tree, cherry tree. So this experience is really a good experience and we feel like that because we have our own tree 
and that is the richer experience. Six feet high. So the poet describes the tree now. Six feet high, my own dark cherry. So he, look, that tree belongs to him. So that belonging, that love for tree comes here. So he says, my own dark cherry. And I could scarcely believe it a berry. So he scarcely, hardly he could believe that it would have a berry, a fruit. Ripened and jeweled in the sun. So the fruit was ripened, first fruit from the tree. It was ripened, it was mature and jeweled in the sun. And because of that sun rays, because of that sunlight, it was, that is, what you call, looking like a jewel. And hung from a branch, just one. Just one fruit was there. And it was looking like a jewel. And next year, there were blossoms small. So, next year, you know, first year only one, one fruit was there. And next year, there were blossoms. Blossoms means flowers. And how they look? Pink. They were of pink color. You can see here in the image, the blossom of cherry tree. Fragile, very weak, very delicate. And quick to fall. Means even the wind could blow them. The wind, because of wind, they could fall. At the merest breath, it's simple only. Suppose you breathe. A human breathing, you know, it is very tender. The sleepiest breathes. Even the breeze, is, the wind is sleeping. So that's tender breathing. The tender breeze, delicate breeze could make them fall. With that much tenderness, that much fragile they were. So see here, you get the sensory experience. You can sense that experience of fragileness of that those cherry blossoms. I lay on the grass at ease. The poet was at ease. He was taking rest. And so he lay on the grass, looking up through leaves at the blue. And he was looking up through the leaves of the, that cherry tree to the blue. Blue means here sky. Blind sky. There were no stars in the sky. Blind sky. At the finches as they flew. And that time, the butterflies, the bees, they were flying for finching. Finching means they're hunting. You know, they have some sorts of hunting. And at the finches as they flew and fleeted, fleeted means jumping from one place, moving rapidly. Moving speedily from one place to another. And fleeted through the dappled green. And the tree was green. The leaves were green. And they were, they have some spot. Uh, spotted green tree, uh, green leaves. And fleeted through the dappled green. While bees in an ecstasy drank. And bees, they were so happy. Ecstasy means they were so happy that they drank of nectar. Nectar means a kind of uh, fluid that comes from the trees. Nectar from each bloom and the sun, sun sank. So bees, what they were doing? They were flying rapidly and they were going from one place to another with speed and they were 
ड्रिंकिंग दॅट नेक्टर नेक्टर म्हणजे अमृत ज्याला म्हणतो किंवा हनी फ्रॉम ईच ब्लूम अँड सन सँक अँड दॅट वॉज द टाईम ऑफ इव्हनिंग सो सन सँक सनसेट सन सँक स्विफ्टली व्हेरी स्पीडिली द सन सँक and the stars turn in the sky now stars coming to the sky and moon moths moon moths moth is a kind of moon moths you can see here that jala patang mhanto kide mhanto apan moon moths and singing crickets cricket is also a kind of you can see here cricket and i yes i and the poet was so happy praised night and star sentry so there were crickets there were moon moths they suggest that it was night now and in such a very wonderful surrounding the poet thinks that he was so happy praised night and star sentry so he admired he praised night stars and tree that small the cherry tree the cherry grown by me he was so happy that the cherry tree was his own tree because it was grown by him and that was his wonderful experience of growing the cherry tree as a child so students look at these cherry trees cherries so you might have understood the remaining part the second part of this poem go through it read it once again and try to understand the meaning of this stanza so that you can understand the whole poem i hope you will do that thank you thank you very much